Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of House of Magic. I'm Eric. And I'm Cassie. And today we will be talking about Planeswalker decks. Now, if you've ever been to Walmart and Target and even some local gaming stores, many local gaming stores, but if you're new to Magic and you're looking at the Magic area at these big box stores, it's possible you have seen one of these, a Planeswalker deck, and you think, what is that? There are a lot of options, even at local gaming stores, of things that you can buy. What are these are worth it? And what of these really aren't worth it? We're going to be going over that in this and a few more upcoming episodes. Yep. So today we'll be starting with Planeswalker decks. Um, Planeswalker decks are pre-made 60 card decks made by Wizards to be semi-competitive. Will you be winning Pro Tours with these? Will you have a lot of fun with these? They come pre-packaged with their own Planeswalker. And it will be a foil Planeswalker. Um, the decks, the other thing is that these are very good because you can buy these and then edit the deck to be appropriate for you. Yes. And they, they, they're, they're entry level, I was saying between a novice to the beginning levels of intermediate will be okay for this. For your more experienced players, they're going to shy from this, and with Christmas being around the corner and stuff, I would not do that. This is not a gift for someone who's been playing for years, but for someone who is interested in playing and really wants to start getting into Magic more. Great yeah. gift option. Great gift option. It's we for... will take a quick moment right now to tell you that to never, ever, 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 ever buy these starter packs from Walmart and Target. They will have a Johnny's face in the middle, two packs, and two dice for $10. No. These are decks that you can get at your LGS for free. They are supposed to be complimentary intro decks for beginners. So, just as a quick intro, and we will probably include this in every video we do in this series, never buy the starter decks from Walmart or Target. Yep. Planeswalker decks are not one of those. Like I said, these are made by Magic. They are meant to be semi-competitive. They are a great way for you if you've never played with a Planeswalker because Planeswalkers, they're mythics. They're pretty hard to pull and not everyone wants to just buy them. So if you've never played with a Planeswalker, this is a great way to learn how to play with the Planeswalker. How to utilize those loyalty numbers in order counters. to... How to utilize those loyalty counters to help your game. So, I got one, Eric got one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the camera, we're gonna open it, they each come, that's another thing, each of these does come with two booster packs. So you can actually grab this and start editing the deck right away. You're encouraged to make the deck your own. Make it better using what you um, get in those packs. Yep. And make it your own. Make sure that you are making the deck something that you will be proud of because like everyone knows, I'm not a net decker, and it is so much more fun, and you get so much more pride when your deck that you made yourself does good, other than a deck that some really smart dude somewhere came up with and shared online. Yep. I'm all about homebrewing. Homebrew for the win. Okay. I may never win, but I like it. Okay. Let's go ahead and crack this open and see what happens when you get your... Planeswalker deck. Once again, whenever possible, oh well. Whenever possible, please purchase these from your LGSs. Of course, you can get them at Walmart's or Targets, but support your support your local gaming store. So, and every uh, one's gonna come with its promo card. And that's gonna be your Planeswalker and a Planeswalker deck, of course. So this is Chandro Pyro Gen Genius. see what she is and it's always a foil look at how pretty she is so plus two her and she deals two damage to each opponent minus three her she deals four damage to target creature minus ten her and she deals six ten damage to target player and each creature that person controls that's nice we'll just leave Chandra up here so you can see her so as you open it so you'll get a box like this it's a, basically a deck box you get two boosters. 
And let's check out the deck box. It's a nice, it has Chandra on it. It shows Chandra. You know that this is your Planeswalker deck. Then inside of it, you're going to get your deck. You're going to get an intro into Magic the Gathering. Which would be... Which quick. should uh, come with a little explanation about Chandra herself and the other deck. And then I'll also go into detail what's in the deck. So it lists out all of the things that you're getting in the deck right here. That's everything that you're going to get in this sealed package. And it also goes over and basically how to play this type of deck as well. Let's see. Yep. A lot of people say Chandra. I have always called her Chandra because I feel like she chars people. It's a CH. Not an SH. So let's, I know you can kind of see this on the thing, but let's see. We've got, so it starts out with some rares. You want to just put here in the middle and just move one off the other and just zoom in? No, it's cool. We're just going to go slowly, kind of. I, we didn't play Kaladesh, so I'm not super um, familiar with if these are good cards, bad cards, but let's see. Oh. That is in uncommon, uncommons. These are not going to be the most competitive decks. You will not win a pro tour with a Planeswalker deck. No, these decks are made for, I would say, almost casual to uh, beginner intermediate level. Yeah, these are your entry level decks. These are for people who are just trying to get started, want to learn how to play with a Planeswalker, want to learn how to do the basic steps. They're, the decks are pretty much evenly matched up with the other Planeswalker decks for the sets. And uh, kind of like the old intro decks, they're each equally as competitive as the next one. So just looking at this right now, this is the first Planeswalker deck I have ever purchased. I don't know about you, Eric. I've purchased some of the old dual decks that have Planeswalkers in them, but I don't remember ever purchasing a Planeswalker deck, at least not the, the of this type. So it's a white red deck. We have 15 commons. Fifteen uncommons. Twenty-five lands, all but four of which are basic lands. And then your four rares and your mythic planeswalker. So that's a pretty good spread. Like, they are giving you far fewer uncommons than I was expecting in this. Yeah, and, I mean, I haven't done the pricing. Like I said, I haven't bought a, a Planeswalker deck or an intro deck, as they used to be called, for quite a while. But I did remember the two booster packs and stuff, you did always come out on top. Because the booster bag's four bucks a pop. So that's eight bucks out of the, was it 15 for the... I don't remember. We got these on sale for, like, five bucks. True that. And then, you know, you figure you get a couple good rares and stuff in the foil and stuff. Or not good, you get a couple decent rares. And you have... And you make your money back. You have the foil Planeswalker, which can only be got... Uh, the only way to obtain this Planeswalker is via the Planeswalker deck. Yeah. This Chandra is not going to be pulled in any packs. There is a separate Chandra that will be pulled in the Kaladesh packs. She is not the one. Exactly. Um, she is made specifically for these Planeswalker decks. She is going to be a little weaker. She's not going to go for the value of the other Planeswalkers. However, she still is... I mean, she's Chandra, so she's still pretty badass. Yeah. So, um... I mean, we have to crack some packs. We can't just not crack. So we each bought one of these because... Why not? We have a problem or something. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So what you'd want to do... I mean, you could literally sleeve this up, shuffle it up, and be ready to play with just what this is. Should you want to amend it? Look, there are two booster packs. They may or may not help your deck because booster packs, there's no guarantee. And just a little side note, if... Here's here's uh, some from the fat pack we opened up a while back, and then this is a new box. And you see, wizards wizards come a long way to making the the packs or the boxes big enough to where you can sleeve them 
and use the boxes for that for a temporary Yeah, look at how much room box. is in here. This is 60 cards. You could easily save these and fit them in here still. You maybe could double sleeve them. I'm not sure. I would have to do the math. I, I'm not like super smart on that stuff. But And this is five unsleeved booster uh, packs. So five times 15 is 75? 75. 75. So that's 75 cards. Look that's, at how much less space Yeah, is there's there. no way you could sleeve it and put it in there and stuff. So. We just kind of give you a reference on how far they've come and try to make things better. I will go first. Oh, no, I'm not going to do Chandra first. Got to do this dude first. Do I know who this dude is? No, but he's blue. And my rare, and this is Paradoxical Outcome. My rare is going to be a Midnight Oil. Now we're gonna hope that this has something good in it for me. It probably doesn't, but. <sighs> Nine. Ooh. 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 Inspiring Vantage. The foil welding sparks. That is just, I really like these Kaladesh foils. They really get some good rainbowism on them. Some really good shininess. Yeah. Hey, hey, just kidding. I love you. My rare is going to be Fleet Wheeled Cruiser. Awesome. That's it. So that's the basics of a Planeswalker deck. Um, they are available at your local gaming stores. You can also... purchase them at Walmart or Target. Please avoid that unless you have absolutely no other place to go though. Remember, there's also a TCG uh, player that also supports local gaming stores. All the people that, that post their cards on their sell cards are all... Including our local gaming store, Miniature Exchange. Um, but this is a great thing for beginners. If you're not a beginner or if you're looking for a gift or something for someone who has been playing four years and never taken a break, a Planeswalker deck's not the way to go. No. If you want a good, pretty solid 60 card deck that you can take to Friday Night Magic and have a heck of a time losing all those rounds, like have enjoyed an enjoyable time losing, Planeswalker deck could be for you. Yeah. And hello, Planeswalker. It's also a really good way to learn how to play with Planeswalkers, even though they are very difficult to pull. It's good to learn how to play with them. Yeah. Of course, in my experience, every time I play a Planeswalker, it's dead the next turn. So Planeswalkers are intimidating. So, um, for House of Magic, I'm Cassie. And I'm Eric. And this is Chandra. Chandra. Bye. Bye.